Hello. I pray that you're well today. Maybe you clicked on this because you saw the title of this devotion, The End of Anxiety. You think, how can that be? How can I get rid of anxiety forever? How can I not have to deal with it anymore? How can it not continue to bother my mind, wake me up in the middle of the night, steal away from me my joy? How, where, what will be the strategy to end anxiety? Well, to be fair, on this side of eternity, we will always struggle because we struggle with sin. And worry is part of my lack of trust, really. And therefore, we will always struggle until that final day. But here's a scripture to think about. Specifically, rejoice always. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 16. Rejoice always. And instead of worrying, we can rejoice. We can give thanks to God. We actively give thanks to God. Rejoice always. Pray continually. God, I give this to you again. God, I give this to you again. God, I give this to you again. I give this worry to you again. I give the amount of worry that I worry too much to you. Do you ever worry so much? that you are worried about how much you worry? Have you ever had a situation where a day there wasn't enough to worry about and you thought, well, I should be more worried because I usually am more worried? We become so accustomed to anxiety that it becomes the, the tenor of our experience. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Rejoice, pray, give thanks. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. If I'm honest with you, I have struggled with some level of anxiety for a good portion of my life. And the only real strategy that I find helpful, useful, is to give it to God again. Again. To redo it again. To to empty out my heart again. To say to God, please take this from me again but to actively then say, I'm gonna rejoice. I'm gonna pray, I'm gonna give thanks. Because sometimes we can be wired or directed only to think about what's bad and it's only as if our reticular activating system in our head like radar looks for what's our next threat as opposed to being grateful for this day, thankful for what God has done and continues to do, I do wish there was an end to all anxiety. But I will say to you, God says to you in 1 Thessalonians 5, rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances. Why? For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. God doesn't want you to be anxious. God wants you to be joyful and prayerful and thankful. Let's pray. Lord God, for all of the brothers and sisters in Christ who are listening to my voice, we acknowledge that we are weak and you are strong. And we need your grace and your peace. We, we pray for joy. We pray for drawing us back to you again. We pray that we would have hearts of thankfulness. And we thank you that your will for us is our joy and our peace. Grant to us today everything we need, Father. Lord God, we bring to you again all of our anxiety. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today. I encourage you to consider the possibility, maybe there's someone else in your life who has anxiety, has stress, has worry, and thinks about it. Maybe send some of these short devotions just to them to think about something different just for a moment. God bless you. God's grace to you. Thank you for your continued prayer in behalf of those who have needs. God's blessing.